In this awesome episode, I'm going to show you how to use email marketing to grow your restaurant sales like crazy. And we're starting right now. What up? Dave Allred, the real barman here from barpatrol.net. I'm super excited about today's episode because this marketing strategy is like throwing gasoline on a fire. And of course, I'm talking about dun, da, da, email marketing, which you knew already because I gave it away in the super cool intro. Now, I'm not trying to claim that email marketing is some new awesome strategy. It's been around for decades, but you probably have a negative connotation with email marketing because of all the salesy, pushy garbage you receive in your inbox, but that's because most companies are doing this completely wrong. In fact, restaurants specifically don't even come close to doing email marketing correctly, which is great news for you because that means your ceiling just rose to hot air balloon heights, all right? Meaning that your opportunity to vastly increase your sales just went way up, all right? For those of you who are metaphor challenged. I just explained it for you. You're welcome. Now, the great thing is everyone still uses email. All right, I know some people are going to be like, email is a dying market. No, it isn't. Not even close. All right, how often do you check your emails? For most people, it's several times per day. And during the making of this video, we're smack dab in the middle of COVID, lots of takeout, lots of delivery. This is the perfect time for you to build your email list, use email marketing. You will have a huge advantage over your competition. Trust me on this. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three things. One, we're going to talk about why email marketing is so valuable. Two, I'm going to talk about how to collect emails from your customers. And three, we're going to talk about what you should actually send them in the emails, which is the most vital step of all. Of course, I cover this on a lot more depth inside the Restaurant Management Masterclass in the email marketing section of the course. It's called Email Marketing Domination, where we really break it down. The course also covers mastering your finances, cost control, inventory, your staff, culture, hiring, firing, promotions, menu engineering, item costing. <sighs> You get the point. It's a complete systemization for running a successful bar and restaurant. Okay, so let's break this down because I know one of your struggles is that you're always looking for new promotions or ways to use your marketing dollars to get more traffic into your restaurant. All right, so let's start with number one. I'm gonna show you why email marketing is so powerful. So when we're talking about getting more traffic into your restaurant or in the case of COVID right now, to your restaurant so they can do pickup, there are three types of traffic. The first type of traffic is traffic you have no control over. All right, these are people who come to your restaurant, but you have no idea how they got there. All right, did they hear about you from someone else or did they wander in aimlessly off the streets? You have no idea, you have no control whether they come back beyond just providing a great guest experience for them, which of course you should always do. The next type of traffic is traffic you control. And this means that you use your marketing dollars to influence them to come in like Facebook ads, for instance. And I know everyone's like, oh, you have to pump up your social media and they're right. But what most people don't realize is that when you post something on your Facebook page without boosting it, only like 5% of your audience is going to see it, All right, which is ridiculous, right? And this is because Facebook wants you to pay for ads so you can get those posts in front of your audience. And I know you might think it's BS, but Facebook ads are still relatively cheap and they're actually a good thing. They're very powerful for getting in front of people, but this is traffic you control, but you don't own them. Facebook owns them. You have to pay Facebook in order to get your posts in front of your customers so you can hopefully get them into your restaurant. Does that make sense? Same thing goes for delivery services like DoorDash and Uber Eats. Yes, they bring traffic for your to-go orders, but you're paying a hefty 20 to 40% fee for that traffic. So DoorDash and Uber Eats owns that traffic as well. So that brings us to the most powerful type of traffic, which you may have already guessed, and that's traffic you own. And of course, this is your email list. And once you have a customer on your email list, you can send them as many emails as you want at no cost to you. And in fact, for every $1 you spend on email marketing, you're going to get $44 back. WTF. 44 to 1 ROI. Have you ever even heard of such a return on investment? I'll answer that question for you. You have not. As the saying goes, the money is in the list, and that's because every email you send out is pure profit. Other reasons email marketing is chock full of rainbows and awesomeness. Number one, you can build trust and connection with your customers and not the way that most companies do it with all the coupons and the garbage. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. So keep watching. Number two, it increases customer retention. 
AKA it makes repeat customers, the most profitable customers of all. Think about it, all right? They might forget about your place, but then that email pops into their inbox and they're like, oh yeah, Dave's Bar and Grill, I love that place, we gotta get down there. Then once they come in three or four times, they are exponentially more likely to become a repeat customer. And number three, why email marketing is so great is you can systemize and automate it, which of course I love, all right? I heart systemizing. Okay, this means you can pre-write an email series so that when someone signs up to your list, you know that it will go out on a schedule. You can send them out every three days, four days, whatever you want, but you know they're taken care of. Don't have to think about it anymore. They will just be guided down your email series, which has already been written. Very cool stuff. I go deeper into how the email marketing software works inside the Restaurant Management Masterclass. I know it sounds very intimidating, but it's not. I show you exactly how it works. So now that you're convinced how effective email marketing is, you are convinced, yes? Okay, let's move on to number two, how to collect emails. Now, there are a variety of ways to do this and it's only limited by your imagination, but the best way is to offer them something of value. Like for instance, a free appetizer or free t-shirt, something that doesn't cost you too much, but something they're gonna be excited about where they will happily provide you their email address. Another great way to collect emails, which is perfect right now, is to require an email address when your customers make an online order, all right, which everyone's doing right now during COVID, all right, simple pimple. Other simple ways are like putting an email address at the bottom of the check when you present it to them and say something like, sign up for awesome deals. Uh, if you have a website, which you'd better have a website, yes. All right, make sure there's a place there for them to sign up for your email list. If you have a rewards program, obviously that's a great place because they have to sign up with an email. That's a great way to collect emails as well. Again, it's really only limited by your imagination. The important thing here is to not take this lightly. The more emails you collect, the more money you make. It's that simple. All right, that should be inspiration enough to start collecting emails. Which brings us finally to number three, the final step, which most companies and especially restaurants get wrong is now that you have their email address, what do you send them? Well, first off, let's talk about what you don't want to do. All right, you don't want to flood their email inbox with just deals and coupons. That's what everyone else is doing. And people are so numbed by receiving these things that they rarely even read them anymore. They go straight to trash. It's not that you can't send them a good deal or coupon sometimes. I mean, people love to save money, but this is not gonna create a long-term raving fan of your restaurant. We wanna create connection and coupons and deals are cold and sterile and impersonal. Here's what we wanna do. We wanna connect, persuade, and secure. Connect with them by using stories, persuade by appealing to their emotions and making it about them, not you, and secure, which means they've become that loyal, raving fan who can't wait to tell everyone they know about your place. So how do we do that? Well, when you create an email series, the first email they receive should be full of enthusiasm and personality and excitement to have them on board with you. That means you don't send them a welcome email that says, thank you for signing up for our newsletter. Dave's Bar and Grill was founded in 1992 and we pride ourselves in preparing high quality food at an affordable rate. How cold and corporate sounding is that? All right, would you be excited by an email like that? <laughs> no way. All right, by the way, comma, don't ever use the word newsletter, all right? Nobody wants a newsletter anymore. What you do wanna do is load up on the personality. Okay, just pretend like you're writing to a friend. Make it crazy, make it funny, make it memorable, make it different, all right? If you're a crappy writer, find someone at your restaurant to do the series and give them a gift card or something, but get it done. Someone there can write. Then from there, your email should continue to be personable, all right? And we do this by sharing stories about our restaurant. And this can and should include your staff. Introduce them. What do they have going on in their life? What are their hobbies? What classes are they taking at the local community college? What's their favorite dish on the menu? People want to connect with their place. They want a reason to come see you. In addition, you can send out your favorite recipes and menu items with pictures and videos. Visuals are huge here. In fact, a great way is to have your bartenders invent their own cocktails, put them on the cocktail menu, and then make a video of how to make that cocktail. Put it in the email. Your customers will love it and they'll be excited to come down and try it. Celebrate your staff, celebrate your community. If you're doing some local community event, share it with them in the email, okay? It's gonna make you look amazing because people love to support restaurants involved in the community, okay? Share your specials, sh share your promotions, share an event, remind them to order online. Most of all, provide value and depth 
so you aren't looked at like a two-dimensional food distribution center. Make your emails warm and personable so they feel like they know you. And when they visit, it'll feel like home. If you connect with them, you will build an army of raving repeat customers, I promise you. As I mentioned, I go over this strategy in a lot more detail inside the Restaurant Management Masterclass. And in fact, I provide 10 email templates that you can use for the first 10 emails of your series, complete with ideas, subject line, the body of the email, etc., etc. Just plug and play for instant connection, persuasion, so you can secure them for life. Okay, I hope this lesson helped, and I hope you realize exactly how powerful this marketing technique is. In fact, in my opinion, the most powerful marketing strategy in existence, because like I said, you own that traffic, and your ROI is off the charts. If you have any stories to share, or you're already doing email marketing, leave a comment below so we can all learn a little something. I hope you have a great day. I appreciate you being here. Make millions, and I'll see you next time. I'm out.